Here's my next big options trade. Inside this video, I'm gonna tell you why every week of September, I'm gonna be piling in $30,000 into this option position. As you know, on this YouTube channel, we did call out Tesla months ago at the bottom for a 100 to 300% run on leaps. I had 50K go up to almost $200,000 just from a leap position. Obviously, I didn't maximize the whole thing, but that helped me make my six-figure profit on one single stock this year. So this is the only YouTube channel where we're giving out free trades, helping you guys make money totally for free. So all we're asking is that you donate to the fundraiser below, Feed Feeding America. This is something I threw in $5,000 last week, and this is just good karma. So you donate, you give, I give, we're all giving here. Now let me tell you why we like this opportunity. From the historical returns perspective, September, August, it's going to be a red-ish month for Bitcoin. And inside this video, I'm going to tell you how to take advantage of Bitcoin with stock, with options, and what I'm looking at specifically. But if I go to the chart on crypto, we do see Bitcoin. So quick plug, everything I'm teaching in this video is pieces of my system. You don't have the full game plan. You don't have the full idea of how I execute it. But what if you did? What if you could work with me till you were profitable? What if you could learn everything I know in 30 days? That's what we're doing with our coaching students. That's the plan. So if you're trying to elevate your trading, if you're trying to create more passive income, apply for coaching with the link below. I'm going to personally be working with you to reach your goals, and we're not going to have a lot of spots open month to month. So apply with the link below and see if we can get you in. We did have a red month, so we are down, uh, call it 5 to 7% for the month and we expect another down month on September. So we might be seeing a drop to 55K, 57K, um, but I do expect the breakout to happen towards the election. The general overall market analysis, which I've been giving to everybody since uh, probably you know July, is that we're gonna see that W phase going into the election. I've seen it happen over and over and over again. And this is something that looks like this. The down move, the up move, the down move, the up move, and then all-time highs um, post-election. So if we go into the weekly chart, it's exactly playing out like I predicted. And we're starting to get that W rollover. So there's that first drop. Here's the first pop. We do expect one more dip in the market. And that's your buying entry for the pre-election rally and then post-election rally. It's a thing, trust me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think the market could pull back in September and that's where you're just going to load up, load heavy. And according to the historical returns of crypto, you know, October and November, besides the election, you know, is it, just typically a bullish set of months for crypto. December even. So we're having 26%, 36%, 11% on average for those months. And that's the phase um, we want to hold through. We want to buy into, you know, buy that last move in crypto. I do believe everyone's gotten bored and everyone's kind of thought this opportunity is, is done, but that's the right moment to strike. That's the right moment to start buying. And it's exactly what some of the biggest institutions in the world are doing. I think BlackRock made the largest purchase ever for $224 million in, in, into Bitcoin. So their ATF has been buying every single day of August. They're accumulating as much crypto as possible. You know, the grayscale is selling as much as possible. But overall, if we look at the totals, the averages, every single ETF has been a buyer, a net buyer in August for crypto minus grayscale. Grayscale would probably even out the playing field in terms of um, the net flows for institutions. So September... Once Grayscale maybe starts stop stop selling, starts buying, or starts holding, um, if they can stop selling, the other institutions keep buying, that's going to push us up just from supply and demand perspective. So crypto in general, as you know, goes through halving cycles. Every halving, half the amount of Bitcoins are available per mining cycle or per, per, per unit mined. So that just means that there's a lower supply. There's a supply constraint. So every time, you know, crypto is coming out, it's just not as much as it was four years ago. 
So as long as the demand stays the same or increases, that's where you get these parabolic moves during these crypto halvening cycles. So we just started halvening like earlier this year, and that's when we started the rally from 25K to 70K. And this is like the last phase of it. So the last phase is typically the most vertical. That's where we went from like, call it like $3,000 to 20K. That's where we went from 15K to 60K. Um, that's where we went from $10 to 1,000. You know, once the dots start turning red, the red dots are where everything gets really exciting for crypto. So I'm putting a lot of money on the line. I'm putting a lot of risk that I typically wouldn't put on because everything's perfect. Everything's lined up. I've never seen an A-plus opportunity this good since Tesla earlier this year where we nailed six figures and gave it for free to everybody on YouTube months before this happened. So this is my picture of how I'm going to add, what it's going to look like. But every weekly candle, I'm going to probably be buying on a Tuesday or Thursday and adding $30,000 into options expiring three to five months out. And I can show you the math on what this could appreciate too if the move I want happens. But every week, if we can hold under 65K and we can hold above 57, that's my threshold. If we can just close sideways between these candles, uh, that's where I'm buying, between the candles. If we're gonna break over 65K, I might be buying half, I might be buying a third, I won't be buying $30,000 worth because I don't want to be chasing this position. As you guys know, I am leveraged in this already with a lot of stock, so I am already ready for the move. But this is going to help me make more, get more into it with a little bit more leverage. So that's my plan for adding. If I was to add, I would be looking maybe for January 2025 options, like the $20 call, the 19 call. That's what I might be looking for. But next week, I'm going to drop the exact option I'm buying so you guys can know. But the idea is if we do get the move with this option, with this expiration date, we could be seeing insane returns. So we're looking at 30 bucks for BITO to hit. And the reason we have to look at BITO is because it's the stock version of Bitcoin. <laughs> and some people approach me like, wow, there's you could buy Bitcoin stock. You can sell puts on Bitcoin stock. Yeah. And so that's that's what I'm going to be buying leaps or, or long-term options on. And if we could hit $30, it would be worth like 80, 90K for Bitcoin. So all-time highs push and we go over. So that vertical move, we want to have it keep going. You know, we don't want to stop at the highs and take profit. I'm going to be looking for that six-figure number to kind of start scaling out on. So if I can do that, if we can hit 30, we're looking at like a 500% return. So that means we're turning like 30K to, I can show you the math on it, but it's going to be nuts if I can fully position in properly. But I like this site a lot. This is optionstrat.com and this helps me kind of monitor my positions it helps me plan my positions i don't have an affiliate link for that so i'm not even selling anything but basically just showing you how i use it but if i was to buy let's say 150 to 175 that'd be like thirty thousand dollars there we could see from a profit and loss standpoint there's my six-figure profit like just from one buying week if i can just get thirty thousand dollars in I would be getting 137K off of this. And if this works out like I think it will, I might be able to get, let's say 450, so 70,000, maybe $90,000 in this. That would be a little bit uncomfortable, but what I consider like full position, maybe 550. So that'd be $86,000. And if I can hit that $30 mark, you know, we're looking at 400K, I mean, I don't think it's going to happen perfectly, but if it does, risk to rewards insanely in my favor. I would take, you know, $80,000 risk half of that, let's say 40,000 for a loss to make 400k. It's a 10 to 1. More importantly, if you guys understand my whole strategy is to sell covered calls. You know, sell covered calls, make passive income regardless of direction. 
So if we were to sell just like a week out covered calls or two weeks out, let's say 10% higher, so the 22, we could just passively make four grand a week while we wait for this play to play out. So that's the beauty of the system is that you can create passive income while you wait and it's just uh, a good way to offset risk. But obviously more money is made on the upside, more money is made if we hit $30. So we want to hit that move, honestly. So subscribe to the channel, be ready for this. This is something we'll update you guys weekly on. And my goal is to finally get positioned in heavy into crypto with options. So the last thing I want to do is just go over the chart kind of show you why we like it. I think number one is we just have perfect consolidation. So the stock has stayed sideways since March. So sideways is good because we have not capitulated. A crypto cycle will capitulate. It will typically run really aggressively, get like the dumb money in buying at the wrong moments and then take them out and then the reverse. A market does not top by trading sideways for six months because at that moment, it didn't suck people out. It, it some, Sometimes um, this is a, a technique for institutions to leverage in and kind of position into the, the markets, which we are seeing them do from the ETF flows chart. So this consolidation is better for institutions because nobody's buying crypto when it's boring. They're buying it when it's ripping to the highs and it's exciting. But this is the time we're buying because we think like institutions, we want to position in like that. And so with crypto holding the key levels of 55K, 53K, and 50K, we could see these massive support levels being the, the, the places they're buying it and picking it up. And if we keep holding these price shelves and consolidating, we're just meant to kind of hit those highs next. And after being sideways for this long, it's only... A timing aspect and basically a countdown to the breakout candle till the move to the insane push to the highs and beyond I don't think crypto is gonna just take out the highs I think it's gonna blow through them um, with the right news of, with the right effect or who knows with the right conditions um, there's the election stuff there's you know, a lot of media hype sometimes with this. So if, if things trigger at the right moment um, and then and then it starts moving with that momentum, that's where it could push well past. But I love the fact that we have a long tail on the monthly and I've waited the whole month to see how it's going to close. But it looks like with two days to go, we're very likely to have a, an insanely large wick. And the large wick is how I was able to make a lot of money on Tesla is because large wicks indicate massive reversals coming. And we had two large wicks back to back on crypto. So 16% last month and then 22% on a wick this month. So the wicks are indicating um, the bottoms in. You know, this is huge, huge, huge opportunity for institutions to position in with that wick. And more importantly, um, there's nobody down there that... <laughs> Um, didn't want to pick it up. Everyone wanted to pick it up. There was so much buying pressure. We closed 22% higher. So they, they loaded up. But you know how institutions work. Once they're in, it takes a while for them to get out. You know, they have to push the price pretty far to get out. So for them to exit, they have to be pretty far from 55K, 57K. So this is just the start, in my opinion. This is just the beginning. After that wick, I'm sure we're going to see like a couple months run off here. So I'm pretty excited for crypto, as you know. I've been, been excited for a long time. And this is something I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and get super leveraged with you guys and show you the whole game plan. That's all I got. You can watch a video to the right of me on our poor man's covered call technique, which is going to help small accounts take advantage of these long-term options, which could be really helpful. Peace out. Have a good week.